Hello guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisperer. Today, I'll be showing you how to make an origami tennis game. It's one piece of paper, and it even has a ball. Right over here. Let's get touch it over here. So, it's not as bad as it looks. We have, like, two players, a decent looking net, and a court. Let's get right into it. This is a pretty complicated model. So it means having at least a 10 inch sheet of thin paper, but not so thin like tissue paper. Something like in the middle, but like on the thinner side if it makes sense. Let's, so what we're going to start by doing is we're going to go white side up and do a 16 by 16 grid. Sorry. Yeah, six, yeah, 16 by 16. Never mind, I was wrong. It's 32 and 32. Sorry about that. This is not a beginner model, so I'd recommend starting by um, with easier models. If you're a new to work on me, I'd recommend having at least 7 years of experience to do this. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to find the closest crease to one of the edges you choose. We're going to fold it as a mountain fold. You're going to choose a corner that that mountain fold goes to. Only one. We're going to take one step at a time. And we're going to create a mountain fold that goes off to that corner. So basically, you're making two perpendicular mountain folds. We'll see what it looks like in a second. Turn the paper up a bit. Didn't have to be all the way, just get an idea. This one looks more like this. And we're on a crease, kind of like an accordion. So we're going to fold that as an, the bottom one's an unfold, and then make a value fold, and then make a mountain fold again. Kind of create this kind of like fan like shape on both creases, and then we're going to bring them all the way so they almost touch it, and then pinch it so that it stays together. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to, um, this, so we have that, right? We're going to do that one more time, but only on the vertical one. Look something like this. So, oops. One, two, three, and one, two. So, two should be on the bottom, three should be on the whatever side you chose. I'm recording! And then, um, we're gonna push in the third crease on the side, it's gonna go all the way down. And then we have this kind of like shape. It should look if this is half of a box plate. It should look like this. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to do two more creases from the side again. And we're going to repeat that similar like, looking structure, but this time we're going to do it a little differently. This time we're only doing it in one side, so it should look like this. Look almost like kind of like a T. And this is what it would look like to open.
Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat on the other side of these two creases. Now, you see, I already have two of them. So, we're gonna repeat by choosing the other corner. So, it should look something like this. You see, repeat on the other side. Whenever you are doing it. Whenever you finish the one side. Now, we're only gonna do these two corners. That's very important. You'll see why in a second. Oh, I will be having a cool motorcycle called tour coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so again, we have our look, a few things. We're going to do the third crease on that or left side for me, or right, depending on what you're doing. Feel free to rotate the model as much as you like. I like using the edge of my table, so I my desk to help me make a good crease. And just like that, we have the first little half point. Please sink whatever, and then we're gonna do our little extra part where we make the teeth. So I'm gonna do this part of the camera the best of them. That we have our two arms. So now, what we're going to do is we are. Oh, sorry. Um, we're going to start. Again, it would be cooler if we had a blue color paper so we can see the ball, but again, it's not going to make much of a difference. It's not going to be part of the game or part of the fun or the model. You have the idea. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat a little, once more that little half. You'll see what I mean. It's hard to on the right words today, I don't know why. So we're going to do that, find it, that makes it a bit stronger, that's all. And those are our first people. So, what we're going to do, is I'm going to bring this a bit up close. This is the part that's a little up close. And we're going to pull out. So the T on the so basically you're gonna see this like triangular shape. You're gonna kind of pinch it and bring it back down. It's hard to explain. You just watch the best you can. So it should look like this. So it's not. So wait, let me show it. So it's not this. It's now. Try my best to show it. It's hard to explain. You had a person, but you know, I can't do that. So, yeah. Then, we're gonna repeat on the other side. Or the other person, or player, or whatever. Whatever it is, the other athlete, you know. So, now, we're gonna extend the creases. If you haven't already, extend the vertical creases or the sideways pan, how you're holding the model, all the way across. So you should go as far as possible can go. Feel free to use your table with Okay, so now it's the fun part. We're gonna start working on the net and the um court. We already have our two people. 
or so you get more of the attitude at the end. So we're going to quickly flatten this a bit. So we're going to bring the little accordion parts to the other side. And then we're going to work on the board. So I'm going to turn it over. And we're going to find, kind of divide it into four. It didn't have any perfect, so we're just going to get it and that's on it. So we do one, two, oops, sorry, one second. So we do, sorry, my mom is not staying together. Maybe she made it pretty easy to start off. Sorry about that. So we fold it so on the three quarter mark. Or approximately that maybe it further down. And then you're gonna bring this back and turn it back over. I'm gonna make mine a little more skinny, but that's up to you if you want to. I think I did mine wrong, so I think we fix that. We're gonna crease that really strong. Mm, sorry. Okay. If it doesn't stay, it's fine. It's gonna look something like this. We're gonna create the net which will help it stay in place. It doesn't have to be very long. We're gonna get the basic idea and we're gonna so you see we kind of make this structure I mean, we make the net kind of stick up. Our four corner in each direction to help it stay together a bit better and make a few creases to help it stay. And final step is to do some shaping. So I'm gonna start by adding. I'm gonna you don't do this how I am gonna get a bit of a basic idea of how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna push on the stomach, kind of pinch the arms. Don't really have that much. I'm gonna kind of make it really skinny the arms, and we're gonna carefully take some of the layers out to make it make it look more like a rocket. Oops, that's not good. The rest of it. So that's our first racket. Not bad. So now, we're going to repeat on the other side, let's give the second person their arms and racket. And we're going to bring them a bit further down, just push it down, push it down. Push it down. Almost done, yeah. yeah. Trying to strengthen our crease a bit and kind of position the people just like that. Our origami tennis game is done. We're gonna like, just strengthen this a little bit more. Again, you can change the grid to be a bit smaller, a person, whatever works. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.